Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Scorpio Cat Tarot. This reading is going to be for Taurus for the week of January 11th through the 18th. If you guys don't yet subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it if you would um, join our little happy family here. Uh, you can hit the subscribe button down below, and um, if you want to be notified when I upload new videos, you just hit the little bell shape right next to the subscribe button. And whenever I upload something new, you will be notified. Personal readings are in the about section. I offer those as well. So let's see what Taurus has going on this week. Queen of Wands. Okay, so she's kind of um, regal and noble and a little bit mystical with her little black cat there. Um, she can be a little standoffish and aloof. So perhaps you're putting some distance between you and another person. Tower moment. Okay, so something happened or is going to happen that's going to break everything down uh, between you and another person. Um, tower moments are usually unexpected. You don't normally see them coming. They just kind of hit you out of the blue. So that's either on its way or has just recently happened. Okay, but here's the Wheel of Fortune. So I think that happened recently. Okay, and um, things are changing now since then. So maybe that's why you're standing back a little bit and um, putting some distance between you and the other person because you guys had a falling out. Um, maybe you're trying to work things out or you have, but you're a little mistrustful. That's the Page of Wands. Okay, so wands are the fire signs. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries could be dealing with one of those. Um, action, passion. Yeah, that's the world. That's good things headed towards you. Um, could also be a cycle closing out. So with the tower moment, I feel like something something broke down, and then with the wheel of fortune, things are changing, and the world, the cycle is closing out, and things are, you know, improving for you. And good things are on the way. Yeah, two of swords. Okay, so that could be two different paths of action that you can take. Um, not knowing which way to choose. You know, she's blindfolded here. She can't, she can't tell which way to go. Um, also, for me as a reader, I read this as the distance between the two swords. is like distance between two people. And with the Queen of Wands there, I feel like you're putting distance between you and your person that you had this um, tower moment with. So I think something happened between um, you and somebody else. I don't know if you broke up or if you just stopped communicating. Somebody ghosted possibly. But it's coming back around. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Ten of Cups. Okay. So, you know, Ten of Cups is... like a ultimate emotional fulfillment that's like marriage happiness <clears throat> so i think you see this person as somebody that you could go long term with that you possibly um, are thinking about a commitment with but you're standing back for some reason right now mm -hmm. look the ten of pentacles right after the ten of cups yeah you feel very strongly about this person. Possibly thinking about marriage. Wow, Taurus, the Ten of Pentacles right after the Ten of Cups. That's some, some serious feelings there. <clears throat> I wonder what happened between you and the person. 
Okay, there's the Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, passion, action, you know. You feel very strongly, very passionately about this person. Um, they fire you up. Needing to make a decision. I think that this, and that came right under the Two of Swords, which is, you know, two paths to take. Um, which came under the tower moment. <laughs> I think the decision that you have to make is whether or not you um, trust this person and want to continue to pursue this relationship with them because something happened when you had a falling out. And now you're a little kind of leery, you know? The emperor. Been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. Okay, the emperor is very wise, mature, stable. He's kind of a culmination of all of the kings in the deck. Okay, he's a little bit of everything. <clears throat> so that could be you being wise, using your wisdom, not rushing into something and thinking things through before making a decision. Um, it could be also a mature, um, mature, male figure in your life giving you advice yeah moving away from trouble i think you are taking your time and thinking things through and being wise and wanting to move away from the difficulty that you had with this person and wanting to um start over and rebuild because you see this is somebody that you could go long term with for you, the uh, relationship has a lot of potential. New beginning. Yeah, you want a new beginning. You want to start over. Toxic energy. Yeah. I think there was something going on there that was a little... Um, Not the healthiest in nature, you know? Um, perhaps a lot of jealousy, envy, could be uh, lust. But you know, this person makes you happy and you're thinking about happy memories with the Six of Cups and you're thinking about better times between the two of you and you're wanting to start over with them. So whatever happened between the two of you, um, I feel like you're putting it behind you and starting over. There was a betrayal. I think this person betrayed you, Taurus. They either told you lies or, um, you know what? With the devil, <clears throat> I feel like there may, be a, may have been some cheating going on there. Um, but I think you, and I broke your relationship down. I think you've decided to forgive this person and start over with them. But it caused you a lot of grief and a lot of difficulty. You had a hard time with this. King of Swords. Swords of Communication. Thoughts, ideas. Um, so you, you could be ready to talk it out, work things out, start over. Feeling stuck. Okay. So the Eight of Swords, okay. Following after the King of Swords. This is you wanting to communicate. You see, he's getting himself up out of the throne there. And he wants to go talk to this person. But with the Eight of Swords, feeling like you you can't. Feeling like you're bound and you can't say what you need to say or you can't talk things out with this person. So there may be some communication issues between you and them. You're feeling a little protective of yourself. You don't want to get hurt again. 
I think you're, you're ready to talk it out and give it another go, but you don't want to be hurt again. Yeah, death. Okay. So that's putting the past behind you, starting new. Um, the way things were in the past, it's dead. Stick a fork in it. Done. It's not going to be that way anymore. Because death comes in and starts like a rebirth process, okay? So, whatever you had going on with this person in the past is not going to be the same. It'll be different, okay? And I think you're sensing that and you're, you're willing to work on it and give them another chance. But you're in very, uh, very much in self-protective mode and don't want to be hurt again. And you're taking your time and thinking it through and making sure that this is what you want to do. And I think that's very wise. But anyway... That's what I got for you for this week, Taurus. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, and I will see you next time.